Romans 13. Romans 13. Paul's words in those first seven verses of that chapter were weaponized to silence those who voiced hesitation and to shame those who simply refused to heed that counsel. I can't tell you how many times in conversation with people I disagreed with over this, when they would say, but what about Romans 13? I, I just simply said, did you read verse four twice? It says that the magistrate is God's servant, God's deacon. Don't you think God's deacons are obligated to do what God says? Don't you think they should recognize that they are under authority and not the source of authority? Amen. While there's much wrong with the thinking that says Christians must simply comply with civil magistrates no matter what, unless they specifically instruct us to sin, 